Yes, yes, yes. It's Coach Dave, Wolfpack 33, workout of the day, 220905. Hola from Mexico. I'm at the Airbnb. Today we got a great workout for you. It is fast. It is ferocious. Let's get into the warm-up first, though. Three minute as many rounds as possible. One inchworm. Just walk out on your hands and do a plank and if work on that push-up. And then feet outside the hips. Hips go back and we're doing five air squats. And you're breathing in and out at the top. And then 10 old school jumping jacks. We're going to need our shoulders and triceps today, so we're warming it up. If you have any mobility issues, just modify with side to side steps. Now we're going to add one extra inchworm. Walk out to a plank, squeeze your shoulders back, do a push up, squeeze the glutes to come up. Let's do the second inchworm. Inchworms are great for warming up the wrists, elbows, shoulders, the pushing muscles. How about five more air squats? Because we're going to need our legs today. And ten jumping jacks. You may have figured it out. We're adding one inchworm per round. For my timer, I have a smart wad timer from Smart Wad great little timer. If you have any kind of a push-up issue today, just go to a plank. If you got that, you could add a shoulder tap where your right hand touches your left shoulder and then your left hand touches your right shoulder. Don't do shoulder taps both at the same time. You'll fall on your face. On your air squats, you want to keep the heel on the floor. You're pushing through the midfoot. The hips go back and the hip crease drops to parallel with the knee joint. Today's workout is uh, two rounds with a rest. So it's a seven minute workout and one of the minutes is rest, but it hits hard. If you have a sandbag, great. You could use a backpack full of books, bag of rock salt. One or two dumbbells, one or two kettlebells, a barbell, whatever you got today. We're working out at home in the backyard. Almost through the warm up. I think there's a couple of seconds left on the clock. Finish up the round you're on or maybe try one more move. I'm going to get the last couple of uh, inchworms in. Remember in a CrossFit push-up, hands are under the shoulders and nothing touches the earth except the toes and the hands. And I like to touch my shirt to the floor. So you're literally like a centimeter off the floor. So today's workout, we're going to do a three-minute round and then a one-minute rest, then a three-minute round. And the three-minute rounds are AMRAPs, as many rounds as possible. And so I'm going to set a seven-minute clock, and then we're going to go through the points of performance before we get started. So it's starting today with three clean and jerks. You can do them with your dumbbells from your knees, your kettlebells. Just be careful on your wrist slap. Here with the brute force sandbag, I'm going to do a deadlift straight up, then hang power cleans from the knee to the chest and straight overhead. So if you look, the hips go back, the lats are engaged and tight, pull it to the chest, catch it in a half squat position, and use that hip drive to drive it overhead. With a dumbbell, same idea, the dumbbells are at the knees, you push the hips back, jump, catch, drive it overhead. So three clean and jerks with whatever you got. Then we're going to do six push-up sandbag drags. And let me show you some scaling options for the push-ups. Now I'm on slippery outdoor tile. Now if you're working off your knees, see how my head's just bob and there's nothing going on there. You have to unlock your hips. Call it the table position. So you're in table, hands are under the shoulders, go down, don't rest down there, and then push up back to table. Hips unlock, go down to the ground, back up to table. 
If you got a partial push-up, today you're going to do a partial push-up. Now, I've got a 38-pound or whatever it is sandbag. I don't have a scale here in Mexico. So I'm guessing it's somewhere between 35 and 40 pounds. You do a push-up, and across your body you drag it. If you've never done these before, they're tough. And you don't need a 40-pound sandbag to do this. I'm going to show you a scaling option with just a towel to give you the sense of the movement. I want you to take a minute here and figure out what push-up drag works for you. So I'm doing a push-up, then the towel. Oh, see? <laughs> Whoops. Just control it. You get the idea. It just gets you reaching across your body, engaging that lat, which is also useful in the push-up. Finally, from six of those, we're finishing with nine front squats. So from the floor, lats engaged, clean it up, big breath at the top, down to parallel and up. Nine front squats. You want to do these unbroken, so you need a weight that you can do them unbroken. A pair of dumbbells or one big dumbbell, that would work perfectly as well with a goblet squat. Let's review. Three minutes, as much work as you can do in three minutes of. Three clean and jerks, six push-up drags, nine front squats. Then we're going to rest a whole minute and do it again for three minutes. So that's the seven-minute workout and the middle is a rest. I'm not sure what I'm going to get on this because the sandbag drag is my nemesis. If you saw my uh, post on Instagram last week about training with the giant, you can't only do workouts that you're good at. And front squats and push-ups are definitely not in my wheelhouse, so we're going to practice today. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Catch it. Drive it overhead. So from below the knee, engaged, clean and jerks. Three of these. Breathing at the top. Then six. So you do a full push-up or whatever you got, drag it across. Full push-up, drag it across. All right, and then nine front squats. Hmm. If you want to go fast today, minimize the transition, the gaps between the exercises, and push the squats. When do you breathe on a front squat? Only at the top. Hey, round one done. We'll take it. Or I mean, uh, cycle one of round one. All right, three clean and jerks. Hips go back, catch it, good. Now, if you're playing the coaching home game, you know when I do a clean, I have a tendency to catch it with my quads going forward instead of my glutes. So I'm working really hard today on catching it with my glutes back. For those of you aspiring coaches, you can see my left shoulder. If you've been following along for a while, you know my left shoulder is kind of mucked up from jujitsu, and you can see it on the push-ups. Two rounds in. Two deep breaths. Hands. Pick it up. Go. Let's see if my glutes are engaged. Yes. Good. Better. Okay. We'll take those. Those are passable.
There's an old veteran move. Oh, we're on the one minute rest. Okay, we got two push ups in. All right, one minute rest. I was going to say that's a veteran move, getting the towel to wipe the sweat away, or getting a sip of water, or checking your shoelaces. You learn these little uh, rest secrets. But the goal here is move as good as you can for three minutes. All right, we're on our one minute rest. It forces the body to kind of get used to clearing out the acid, the waste metabolites from breathing hard and working hard. We're doing the same thing again. We're starting at the beginning and we're going to try to do more reps in the second three minute cycle than the first one. We'll see how you paste it. All right, hands, three, two, one, and go. Starts with three clean and jerks. Good, working on getting those glutes engaged in the posterior chain. I'm what you call a quad dominant athlete as evidenced by my massive quads. They call me Quadzilla. I'm just kidding. I'm built for running. But trying to get the glutes and hamstrings to do the work instead of the quads on the cleans. Ooh, that was a fun trick. Did you see me? Uh, don't do that with your sandbag. All right, six push-up bag drags and now nine front squats. If you look at the right heel of my right shoe, you'll see it's coming off the ground. Ah, there we go. Trying to keep the feet flat and pushing through the midfoot. When my hamstrings get fatigued, I shift into my quads and my heels come off the ground. You know, 50 some years of fitness, many years of CrossFit, constantly working on these little points to move better and more efficiently. All right, let's go back. Round two of clean and jerks. If you're playing the home game, keep pushing. We're like 90 seconds to go. If your brain is screaming, just keep going. The brain wants to quit before the body. Nice, that was a grindy one. I think I got one more. Atta boy. Let's go, Coach Dave. Tick tock, buddy, come on. Front squats. Coach Dave, you forgot your front squats. Can you believe this? If it was in the open, at least I'd have a judge counting for me. How hard is it to count to nine? Gah, I apologize. I remember thinking, wow, I got three push-ups. No, you skipped your nine front squats. Anyhow, we'll call it. Nice try. We had fun. We got sweaty. We won the day. I have a new report, a free report. It's a PDF. It's nine at-home workouts and a bonus 10th eating tutorial. If you want a copy of that, leave me a message below that says... Uh, nine yeah nine just say the number nine say the number nine and i'll send it to you or send me a dm i'm proud of you you won the day coach dave out see you tomorrow you got this